okay guys let us solve another problem of six linked, six linked inheritance sorry now this is about red green color blindness in inherited uh, as an x uh, six linked inheritance so it's a color blindness this is a famous example of six linked inheritance now this is inherited and this is called this is actually x linked now remember in most of the cases i've told you six linked is in turn x linked okay if a colorblind woman marries a man who has normal vision now the for the colorblind vision we call it c right so a colorblind woman must have two defective genes in 2x if it is having only one defective gene in 1x 1x gene will replace its fact and the woman would not be colorblind so for a woman to be colorblind both of their x genes must be must be carrying that faulty gene so both of them are having so it's a color blind woman female okay now it is uh, mating with a man who has normal vision so man with a normal vision is this so it is not carrying any color blind gene so the question is what would be the expected phenotypes of the children with reference to to his character okay so if we make a cross between this the one thing you should understand very importantly is that X, sex link means x link this is the first important thing you must understand second thing is that in case of x linked inheritance in case of x linked inheritance there are sometimes also y linked inheritance there uh, but most of the case there are x linked so in case of x linked inheritance for a mother for a mother to have diseased it has to contaminate both of its it have to carry both of both of the uh, fault genes otherwise if it is carrying only one fault gene it will not lead to the disease in mother or it will not lead to the disease in women because women has women are having two different genes two different x genes right so that's why we need to have two faulty genes present that's the important part but if uh, in case of x linked genes if a boy is having one faulty gene only it can go for disease because it is having only one x gene this is the most important concept and knowing that when it when they uh, told us that the mother is color blind that means mother is carrying this color blind c genes both of their in both of the, his uh, her x chromosome and his father is healthy that means uh, nothing has happened his father is completely healthy so no faulty gene in this father so after that if you make a cross so this xc with this x so xc x this xc with y so xc y this xc with x xc x this xc Why? So this is going to be the result, and in this result, what we are going to see that mothers, if they are carrying two Cs, then only they are diseased. So none of the females are diseased because both of them are carrying only one C, but another X are free to act, and this X is replenish all the, all of its activity. So both of these females or both of these daughters that are produced, none of them are diseased. but they are carrying the faulty gene in one of their uh, x chromosomes so they are our carriers but two of the boys that are developed here both of them are having this c or faulty gene so both of them will be diseased so they are, it is diseased also this is diseased so the ratio of getting the result two boys and two girls two boys are diseased two girls are carriers okay so for a mother to be diseased it is very very dangerous because if a mother for an x linked trait is a diseased one then it is giving us the maximum tendency of acquiring the disease in the f1 or f2 generations because it is providing all of this faulty genes into the future generations okay so that's it and i hope it will help you thank you